Hey, 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 everyone. How you doing? It's me. It's Jeff C. It is uh, Monday, October the 6th. And um, just wanted to come out and, and say a couple things before I begin here. Now, when you call something a false flag or a hoax, uh, people will often be very skeptical. Other people will be downright irate, you know, and start saying, ah, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Well, lots of experience, uh, many years of doing this and just putting all the patterns together that fit up with these false flags. I think this is a totally... Uh, the, what's happening in the United States with Ebola is totally staged. I think that is as clear as anything that I've seen in a long time. This is all another big giant psyop, right? And most likely to get you to take some sort of vaccination. Now, um, the alternative media, uh, once again, has failed uh, by and large. Um, they're buying the whole Ebola thing, and they're also buying the angle that the United States is incompetent, Obama is incompetent, the CDC is incompetent, they're fucking up everything. You know, they should have done this, they should have done that, stricter check, they should stop the flights coming in, blah, da, 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 right? That's what the alternative media is going on about. Bullshit. This thing is all staged. This is what they're not getting. This is why you got to come to people like Free Radio Revolution, a Red Pill Revolution, and Team Wake Em Up to get the real deal about what's going on because uh, we're not going to uh, fall for this bullshit, okay? And it's up to you whether you want to believe it or not. But I'm telling you right now, as I always say, this is the golden rule of false flags. If the corporate media is going on week after week after week after week about it, if they're bringing up all these funny actors, right, that can't seem to remember their lines, they're reading from scripts, if they've got the Sanjay Guptas and the Dr. Richard Bessers and all these characters who you know are in on the fix, then you know it's a false flag. You know it's staged, okay? So I shouldn't have to explain it, but of course there's always new people to my channel who've never been uh, down this road before and, you know, uh, you know, it's a big shock to them. Even Alex Jones is coming out calling it a false flag now. Um, I want you to listen into this insider here. We've had uh, a few insiders dealing with uh, FEMA and Ebola telling us there's no way. And this is what I said. I mean, I broke it down in the Dr. Richard Brantley, Nancy Wright Ebola thing. There's no way that those people had Ebola. That is 100% scripted. That is case closed. And if you don't believe me, go and watch my videos that I've done on this. It's it's absolutely astounding that they, they tried to pass this shit off because they broke every protocol. So I want I need to listen to this insider here, this FEMA insider, talk about Ebola and uh, here on Alex Jones for a sec. Insider from FEMA Region 6. I, I'm in former Texas. That's in FEMA Region 6. Uh, what former state are you in, insider? I'm in former state Texas. I uh, work for the regional agency in uh, formerly known as San Antonio, Texas. Ah. I, one of my duties is public health emergency preparedness planning. The reason I know the Ebola outbreak is being conducted on purpose is it violates all protocols. Mm -hmm. I used to be involved in the Hurricane Katrina and Rita response of the evacuees. I also was involved in planning for smallpox outbreak in Bexar County. The proper response would be the National Guard would seal off Bexar County. Law enforcement and emergency services would redirect the population to all hospitals, churches, and other government agencies where they would be screened. If they were sick, they would be isolated at a former military base until the sickness had passed or they died. Everyone else would be forcibly vaccinated. There would be no exceptions and no travel in and out of Bexar County. So the fact that they're allowing people to travel into the United States and they are not locking down the city of Dallas tells me this is by design. There you go. Okay. So uh, we've heard this a lot. Uh, we've had the insiders uh, talk on our shows, tell us how there's no way that that the, the the way that they're dealing with this is totally off the books. It's just ridiculous. And that means it's staged, okay? If it was a real outbreak, if there was real Ebola in the United States, they would go through every extreme. They would make sure everything was sterilized. They would have this guy in special hospitals, military hospitals, maybe even in sh on a ship out to sea. They would take every precaution. So they broke every precaution. They, they broke all the rules doing this, you know? And then if you look at the characters, of course, um, this uh, Thomas Eric Duncan character has no history, really. His last Facebook, I mean, he has Facebook, right? But his last post was in 2011. All the photos of Thomas Eric Duncan have him wearing the same shirt. They were all taken on the same day. Go ahead and take a look. The, the neon green shirt, which I think is a perfect way that they color code these things to tell you that the sickness is here, right? That uh, now the America's got it. This is the guy that brought Ebola to the United States. That's why they put him in the neon green shirt, right? 
and he hasn't updated his Facebook page since 2011. Guess what? His Facebook page has been taken down over the last couple of days. Go and figure, right? Maybe because they're worried that people are looking too far into this. How is it that he's wearing the same shirt and every single photograph that's available of, on him on the internet? Right? And why is it a neon green shirt? That's because they're programming your mind. They're using that fear-based trauma to control you. Okay? These characters are made-up characters. Now, they're, yeah, it's a real person that uh, they use, but they create the character themselves. I'm not saying that Thomas Eric Duncan doesn't outright exist. I'm just saying that this guy is playing an Ebola sick person, and we haven't seen anything to prove that he has Ebola whatsoever. I wouldn't believe it for anything, okay? These, uh, this is all staged. This is a staged event. This guy's history makes no sense, okay? And um, I wouldn't believe any of it. I think that you are being played. I think they are trying to convince you that uh, Ebola is real, the threat is there, and that your children are in danger so that you'll go and get the vaccination. I think they are building this hype up. I think this is a media and government created event. Now, I'm not saying there isn't real Ebola happening in Africa, but I think it'd be very easy for the powers that be to control um, or even simulate an outbreak in a place like Liberia. Okay, and they just sent over 3,000 troops and all this, you know, you know that they are trying to control the narrative of everything. That's why they're shutting down people's channels. That's why they're um, censoring everything that I do and many others are doing. They're doing that because they want to be able to control the flow of information, right? And um, this is where we're at right now. I think you're all being fooled with this Ebola thing. I think this guy is playing a character. I don't even know if he's in the hospital. You wouldn't know anything, right? Because it's all scripted and they control the script. They control the cameras. They control the narrative. That's why we're here. The only way to break this narrative is to have channels like this come out and call it for what it is. Now, I'm glad that Alex Jones finally uh, catching on a bit. Uh, it would be nice if the rest of the alternative media, um, you know, grew a brain and actually figured out how they're being fooled about this. Um, but if you really want to know the truth about what's going on, you'll have to stick with this channel, Red Pill Revolution. You know, there's a few other channels out there that are, are really working hard on this and um, showing you what a farce it is. You are all being played once again. This is a total scam. And um, I hope that enough people see this video and pass it around so that uh, we can really tear down this illusion that they're creating here. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.